I can copy and paste text from anywhere and bring it into Easy Teach Next Generation to become interactive with it with my set of text tools. By accessing this, I can check for spelling and replace it with the correct spelling of the word that's misspelled. I can also access my advanced set of text tools. Selecting my text, I can then remove all my punctuation with one simple click. By accessing my Word wallet, the punctuation that was removed has now collected in the Word wallet. I can have my students drag the, the punctuation back to where it belongs until all of the punctuation within my Word wallet is back at its designated place within the passage. I can also access my close tool, a simple tool that many teachers use to check for comprehension within a reading passage, and I just have to click my words and they'll be removed from the passage. Then accessing my word wallet, that's where my words have formed. I can then take the word wallet, randomize, mix up my words as many times as I wish, and then my students simply drag the words back into the passage where they belong, saving me a lot of time. Going on to my next page, we're going to use words from a story that we've been reading in class. And using one of our widgets, we can filter our widgets by topic. Going into the games, we have word search. A lot of uses we could use this for. In this lesson, we're going to use it for our vocabulary from a story we've been reading in language arts class. Creating my own lesson, we're going to give it a topic. The topic is words from the story. I can then go in and add specific words that I want my students to be able to find within the word search. By clicking Create Game, my activity, my word search activity has now been generated for me. All my students have to do is go through and find the words that I have selected from the story for them to find. As they go through and find the words, all they have to do is simply highlight, and you'll notice as they highlight the word and find the word, the word will automatically be crossed off in my list. The next part of this lesson, we're going to write a story. And a fun widget to help us in writing stories is the writing challenge, where we can get quick ideas. All we have to do is select our type of writing. We'll select romance. And we can spin the columns. We'll get a type of writing, an adjective, a noun, and a setting. And there we have an essay regarding an energetic sailor in a dim lit coffee shop. We have a scene. We can begin writing our story.